For people who are not familiar with your story, explain sort of where you were in your life when you presumably got this phone call or a doctor's appointment that really set you on a different path. Well, I'm 28 now, so what's happened was I was about 24 years old, and I remember being on a USA tour uh, overseas in the Middle East with, you know, with the troops, and I remember I started to get really weak, and when I got back, I went to the doctor and I noticed that I had a huge tumor wrapped around my spine, and the tumor cut off all circulation from my legs, so it left me partially paralyzed. Doctor said my career would be over. Doctor said I had no uh, chance of ever becoming uh, a boxer again and continuing my career. And uh, I defined and beat the odds, come back, have seven fights, all knockouts, and become the first cancer survivor to be a boxing world champion. It's unbelievable. <laughs> when you say you were partially paralyzed, yeah. uh, how? I mean, you uh, both legs are, explain what that was like. Well, if you know the spine and you know the nerves connected to the spine, what happened was when the tumor that was almost like a handball-like size tumor wrapped itself around it, it, it technically it cracked a portion of my spine. So from the, from the nerve neurological damage, that's what left me partially paralyzed. And the doctor said that even that might not, my nerves might even come back 100%. So how do you feel now? Are, are your nerves back 100%? You know what? 99.9. .9. Uh, You'll take it. My, my left toe. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> my pinky toe, yeah. Okay, but obviously you can still <laughs> knock somebody out even if your right. left pinky toe. Boxers endure so much more pain than True. that. But what was the most difficult part about getting back to where you are, which is a champ? I think the most... Uh, harsh part about getting back was, um, you know, it's just physically tiring, you know, actually doing it and getting back into the rhythm of things, especially when you go from not having nerves to get into such a sport like boxing, because people fear what we do for a living, you know, and to come back and to want to fight, you know, it says a lot, and uh, I'm very proud of it, but to, you know, ultimately to fulfill my dreams and become champion is, is a story of a lifetime. Yeah, and you still have so much more of your boxing career yeah. in front of you, but how does a diagnosis like this and, and what you had to come back from, does it change you as a fighter? Uh, it changed you as a fighter, but most importantly, I, I believe it changed you as a person, and, and, and that's the most thing that I'm grateful for. You know, um, I'm a better father. Uh, I'm, I'm a better uh, friend. I'm a better person, a better individual all around. And, you know, I just appreciate the small things in life now. Love is my religion, and I live for peace and love.